Hey y'all, Jesse Peterson here with Let's Make Art. I'm a mixed media artist and I love art journaling and today I have Keenan with me. Hello! <laughs> that was a good hello. <laughs> Thank you. He's our art cheerleader, cameraman, all the things. And um, we have a fun project for you. Today we're going to do this little tree uh, on a postcard for our Let's Make Art pattern. I love Matter that tree. program. Um, we're painting this tree in the theme of Wabi Sabi. That's what we've been working in this um, this month and this is one of the trees that we did for one of our project standard journals so i just thought it might be fun to do a horizontal different color tree for our let's make art matter program and if you're not familiar with wasabi wabi sabi i am very familiar with wasabi <laughs> it's a whole different thing big fan <laughs> um it's really all about celebrating the imperfect the impermanence and the weathered and um what not so i just thought this would be a fun project for us now i'm going to tell you a little bit about our let's make our matter program we have um members in our community our art community that we have here um nominate different people that would like um some happy mail some good vibes and if you're a let's make art matter subscriber in our subscription box you'll find a, a addressed pre-addressed and pre-stamped postcard and you'll find a card in there that has uh, the recipient's information on it this time it's someone that i know it's family um, one of my friends was telling me about our mutual friend and i was like I, I think we should do a let's make our matter for her so um for her family so i'm going to tell you a little bit about our recipient her name is kathy dobson um we're going to send good vibes to Kathy Dobson's family. And I'll tell you a little bit about Kathy. Kathy was an angel and um, she loved to work, serve, and mostly, especially adored coming home each night to her family. She lived and breathed art and all things creative. Any challenge was almost her favorite challenge yet. She was a patient and kind teacher and expected 110% from herself. She was a bit of a perfectionist. She created gifts for others and works of art from anything she could find. Kathy was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer last year and fought until the end to beat it. She leaves her husband, six children, the youngest is four and the oldest is 21. I mean, what a spread there. And dozens of other family members, all of whom could use reminders of her through art. This would be a true blessing, the kind that keeps on giving even after all the cards are received. I knew Kathy personally. We worked together. Um, in the craft industry, we made all kinds of fun projects that we got to sell at big retail stores like Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann's, all those things. Um, and she was really creative in art and work, but she also was really creative um, and caring and shared her gifts with everybody that she knew. Um, anytime someone had a baby or a special thing in their life, she would create really cool crafty projects. Like I remember when I had my first daughter, she made this really cool um mini banner and put it on my monitor and it i when i came in for the work day like it was just so neat like she was always doing that and um she was always patient when she was teaching me new things and um always like encouraging one of the best art cheerleaders that i knew and so i'm grateful for the opportunity to celebrate her and creativity and send some good vibes to her family and i'm so glad that you're here to do this with me so all right, let's get started on our project. Let's do it. <sighs> okay, so I this looks like it could be a little difficult, but you can do it, okay? We're just gonna wing it, and your tree might turn out a little different than my tree, and that's okay, because all the trees are different, and we're just celebrating the imperfect. Yes. So that's gonna be cool, okay? So Keenan will cheer as needed. As needed. <laughs> or whenever you want. You no know. more, no less. Okay, so let's talk about the supplies we're gonna use. Um, we're going to use this Dina Wakely fuchsia Woo. acrylic paint. It's a good color, right? Apricot, marine, and isn't this funny? Cheddar. Cheddar. <laughs> Cheddar. Ah. So, and this really fun um, create a color monolith. This is all graphite, no wood on here. Um, and we're going to use that to kind of sketch oh, our tree. When you add cool. water to it, kind of does some fun things because it's water soluble. We'll use our round eight brush and we might use our half inch oval mop also known as Mavis. We'll see, I can't remember when I was making it what I did because I was just hanging out and painting for fun. And then I was like, actually, I really like this tree and I want it to be our project. So, all right, let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is just sketch out our tree. Now, if you wanna go straight in with a monolith, you can do that, or you can use your regular pencil and then go back over it. It's up to you. Um, I like, for composition wise, instead of starting right in the middle with the tree, I wanted to move over to the 
third of the paper because I like to keep things in thirds. So I kind of wanted to start my tree there just for visual interest. So you can do whatever you want, but that's, I just like to teach you some of the thought behind the composition, if that makes sense. It does, it's super helpful too. Cause I would have started in the middle. Yeah? Yeah. It's okay, could have been cool. Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm just kind of sketching out my tree here and I kind of think it's cool that it bends a little bit. Kind of reminds me of some trees I've seen in Louisiana. Oh. Now, if you want to use a real tree for reference, you can do that, or you can just kind of sketch out. This tree, for some reason, uh, even though it's not, makes me think of a willow, a weeping willow. Oh, yeah, because it has kind of lower branches. Vita, my daughter, my youngest, mm -hmm. she calls those sad trees. Oh. We have one of those kind of trees. Is that willow in my front yard? Oh. Is that a willow? Yep. The one that's like. Yep, that's the one she re referenced to as a sad tree. Oh, our tree. Yes. <laughs> well, when the Lois is sad, she'll go and sit under that tree. So I guess oh, that makes sense now. That's so cute. And really put that together. <laughs> when it's warm. Right now, she would not go out yeah, there. But no. Soon it will be warmer. Hopefully. So I'm just breaking up branches however feels right. But if you struggle to make up information for the branches, then just look at a tree. Because... They're everywhere, right? Just yeah. about everywhere. Actually, for the cold comment, when this video comes out, because we're filming this in February, it may be warm. Maybe, maybe not. It's Missouri, so. We can look forward to it. We'll, tr we'll hope. We, we can, can hope. Maybe Missouri needs an art cheerleader, you know? Or just a <laughs> cheerleader. Maybe we just be like, you know what, Missouri, you're great. You're great? You can be warm, please. I don't know if you've seen those like videos where people are like, like February, they personify the different months of the year and last year, and they're like, oh, "I have February. What are you doing? Like, <laughs> we got a handle on COVID, but you froze everybody." Like those kind of videos are so funny. That's awesome. Like they call them in, like a coach calls you in. I don't know. I saw one Katie shared with me on I don't know, it was like TikTok or something. That is funny. I could spend a lot of time on TikTok if I let myself. Some funny stuff. Oh yeah, there. they've got some funny people on there. We have a TikTok. Let's make our as a TikTok. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I got to check that out. <laughs> I, I knew that. I feel like I knew that. I feel like I've made a video or something for it. I'm going to be better at TikTok. Sorry, Katie. Katie <laughs> does some of that stuff, right? Yep. Okay, so I didn't really explain what I was doing. I just was drawing. Sorry. I got excited and I was listening to Keenan and I was just, just going. Sorry, yeah. So I'm thinking about how a, the tree kind of twists and giving it some dimension. You can, you can do whatever you want. And I'm thinking about how the roots kind of break off, like at the bottom where, you know, it kind of goes like this and another one kind of spins that way. Hmm. But you don't have to be twisty. If, you're, if that makes you uncomfortable or you're like, I don't know if I could do that, you can do this kind of thing. And you can just shorten it and have your branches go out further, like we did in that other project. But I'm feeling pretty good about this. Okay, so you can go back in now with your monolith and do some shading. I forgot that that's what I was supposed to be doing when I was just going to town with that other pencil. <laughs> 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 it's fine, everything's fine. Uh, okay, and then wherever you shade here and we add water, it's gonna, it's gonna darken quite a bit, so that'll be nice. I like this tree's posture. Yeah? Yeah. Should I move it up a bit? Maybe a little. Okay, and one thing that I like to do if you wanna try to like have more loose organic um, branches as I hold my pencil back a little bit and then I just kind of drag it so I don't have as much control and it feels more tree-like oh. and you can kind of turn your pencil this way and that way to get like little spindly branches coming off the other branches I mean that's what I do but when that's I think cool. about saying that it, it's like that's kind of weird but it's cool no I like it it's neat I feel like it kind of gives you a little more, a, a different type of control. Yeah, the it's like. Pencil, pen or pencil or thing you're using. What is that called? This? Yeah. This is a Create a Color Monolith um, woodless graphite pencil. Wow. It's kind of heavy. Are you it's, impressed that I remember all solid? the details about yeah, this that pencil? That was nice. <laughs> I'm impressed. Okay, I'm just going to do a couple more little windy things and turn my pencil to kind of get those. And I'm gonna stop. Okay, now we get it painted. 
Okay, but I want to show you whenever you get this pencil wet that it moves around a little bit. You get some, see that? Yeah. So you can continue to kind of do like some shading that way if you want. And if you really want it dark while the, well, I'm just about to lose my, okay. While the water is wet, you can, while the paper is wet with water, while the water is wet because it's wet. Um, well, the water needs to be wet, so. <laughs> Uh, okay. There you go. Oh yeah, I think I want that where you can kind of see where maybe there's like a little spot where like a squirrel lives under that tree or something. Ooh, yeah. All right. Okay, let's just spend some paint. I like this fuchsia and I was thinking about the cover of our Let's Make Art Matter card has um, Kathy making this awesome peacock. Um, she made that out of like chicken wire. <laughs> it was like huge and just beautiful paper. I mean, it's amazing what people can do when they use their creativity oh, yes. with whatever they got around. I mean, so cool. So I just got a little fuchsia there. I'm gonna dispense some of this cheddar. I think I'm going to have a little fun with the leaves first and then we'll go back and paint the little sunset color in the background. So this marine is just a beautiful color. Can you see that color? It's like blue green. I mean, it's just what marine should be. Love. I mean, you could scoot that in closer. Oh yeah, because I'm not working on the ground. I got plenty of room. Of yeah. room. Okay, and then we got yeah. some apricot. And I'm just using a little because this guy, this guy is like so small, but we can get more paint if we need it. <clears throat> All right, mm. so I'm gonna get my brush wet, dab up some of that extra water, and I'm going to get some of the just straight marine because I love that color just the way it is. So pretty. It is pretty. And I'm going to just do a little. Now, in order for this to feel like it's a tree, um, instead of doing one big block of color, when you look at a tree, there's space between the leaves and the branches where the light comes in. So you wanna leave some white area so you kind of get that effect of like the light coming in through the trees. And some of the parts of the tree will be more dense with lots of leaves and some will be less. So it helps you kind of get that effect. That yes. makes sense. It does make sense. Okay, so. For the of... purpose of side cam, mm -hmm. could you push the, your, you're gonna, it's gonna be an awkward, you know, a tight area, right? That's perfect right there. You did a great job. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 cool. So and you can put in your marine however you want and you can add a little water to make it lighter, add a little more paint to make it darker in places. I'm trying to like, See, my brain only wants to make a pattern. It's like, okay, I got a splotch, 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 and that all looks the same. So I'm gonna try to like fade that out, just make my shapes a little different and irregular. Oh, this is just so fun. I just love doing this. It is satisfying to watch a tree get filled in. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Now I'm gonna water it down a good bit and get like a good amount up in here. Oh yeah, like that. And like I said, when you water down acrylic paint and you can get it to do some blooms like watercolor, which will be nice for us. getting some different values and places. Okay, now I'm gonna mix in a little bit of my cheddar with marine, get us another color green. I'm still gonna keep it pretty marine-y. Can you see me mixing that? I don't know. Yeah, I like that color. A 
Ooh, I like that one a lot. You like this green? Mm-hmm. Add a little bit of yellow. Mm-hmm. Makes that pop. Yeah. I like that pop sound effect, too. That's pretty awesome. Thank you. Yeah, let me drop that in while it's still wet. Kind of will blend for us a little bit. Yeah, I'm being hopeful for spring right now, even though it doesn't feel like spring here. Maybe it will be by March. got quiet. I just was getting excited about what That's I'm doing here. detail mode. Mm -hmm. So now I'm just layering back over some of my lighter spots with darker value. Just keeping it loose like foliage would be. Filling it in, but I'm still leaving some white areas, if that makes mm -hmm. sense. That does. So the light can get through. And the first time I was painting this tree, I was looking out the window at a tree and kind of looking at how its branches were. And that can just be a really nice sort of meditative thing to do in general, is just look at a tree, you know? I... Could, I mean, they have, in movies, it's a big staple to have someone sitting under a tree reading a book. You know? Mm -hmm. It's always something like that. And it's always nice to lay under a tree and just watch the leaves. Yeah. If it's nice out. <laughs> oh, look at that tree. We've got a tree on our hands, Jesse. Mm, it's pretty cool. Okay, now we can just do a couple little, little little foliage that's tiny just kind of coming out there and what's really fun I mean we could just go for it is let's water down our marine just a little bit and I like to do like hold that my fingers like this and then when my brush has got wet paint on it just tap it oh. and you can control kind of some some little sprays here okay it's kind of cool give us a little be wary of electronics nearby yeah, or your other painting if you're not trying to get that on there, mm. but I don't, I'm, I'm all right with it. Now, you might want to do that at the end when everything's dry or whatever. That'd be a fun way to do this as like a fall setting uh, tree to where it's like sort of shows that leaves are falling or something. Yeah, or just kind of atmospheric. Okay, I'm thinking yeah. I need a little more dark in here. So I'm going to do it. It's a little more dark just to define my branches a little bit more. Just going right up against where the, oh, I drew those branches. Yeah, I'm liking that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, well since we did the splatter before the background, we might need to let that dry for a minute, get a snack. <laughs> snack time. And then we'll come back and do the next layer. Okay, now this is dry. We'll do our little sunsetty color in the back. So I'm gonna take a little bit of fuchsia and Apricot. Ooh, you could do directional blue to where it looks like it's raining. You could. In you theory. should try that. Well, you're not wrong. <laughs> I keep telling Keenan to try these ideas he has. Maybe he needs more encouragement from y'all. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, I'm just mixing color. So I've got a little yellow 
uh, that cheddar I mixed with apricot to get some nice light yellow. And then I got this pink that I mixed from the fuchsia. And one of those just really nice mixed colors. Oh, I just that love is a it. great color mixture right there. Okay, so I'm getting my brush a little wet. I'm gonna come in with this yellow. And you can even overlap some of your green if you want. Or leave it white in some areas. It's whatever you wanna do. I'm still in the spot that I should be in here. Let's see. Yeah, you're in a All great right. spot. I'm just kind of using my brush and sort of scrubbing, I guess. Scrubbing. That color. Scrubbing. Just. I call that the mop technique. Going side to side. Yeah, that's the mop technique. I may not know how to mop. You don't know how to mop? <laughs> no, I do. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They got, they got some new, like, mop stuff. <laughs> Sweep them off at the same time. Yeah, they do. <laughs> so Those <cool>. are super <laughs> cool. Uh, maybe one day I'll get one of those. They're kind of cool. All right, now I'm gonna get mix my pink with that apricot That's color. It's a pretty sky. Honestly, like for me, I know I have a thing for sketched art, but I would leave this as is. What do you mean? Like how? Like, like right, now, right now, if you were to stop, I'd say it's perfect. Oh. Well, it's only gonna get better. Oh snap. But you could stop. Okay, so I'm gonna like wash most of the paint off my brush and I'm just gonna try to blend these two colors a little. See how we did that? I'm gonna do the same thing down here. Just gonna put that pink in, in the lower area and then we'll kinda I feel like I needed a little more pink over here. Maybe just the slightest bit up there. But if that's like, ooh, that's too dark, just wash your brush, get most of the water off, and blend it. See how that, that ended up being lighted? so good. Can you push that a little to the right? Right there. Maybe a little down. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So you can get a little pink around some of these dots so we keep it like airy, like. Yes. I love this tree. Thank you. It's, it's coming together. Come together. It's a little pink in there, maybe. All right. So now I'm blending with just water. A little yellow in there. I like that. Okay. A little yellow up there. Oh, ooh, yeah, yeah. That's ooh, what I need. Nice. A little yellow up there, just kind of. It's kind of a dream feeling. Yeah. It's kind of like it could be here or maybe it could be in a dream. I like that. Yeah. Could be here, could be there. And pull a little yellow up here. Oh, yeah. Okay, now we can do like that mossy green at the bottom. Mm. So more green, less marine to get that mossy color. More green, less marine. I mean, more. More cheddar, less marine. Oh, more cheddar. I just liked how more green, less marine sounded. I know, it sounded cool. I was really proud of myself. Yeah. And then I was like, that doesn't make sense because Keenan doesn't know what I'm saying. Okay, so we just bring <laughs> that in there. I'm glad my agreeing with you helped you realize that it was incorrect. <laughs> now, this last time I made this, I didn't leave any white space. But now that we kind of created more of an airy effect on this, I kind of think I want to leave some of that with some... Like maybe this is the hill and it's coming down. And just let it kind of fade out. And just do the slightest a bit of that moss green up in the tree. Yeah. And then you can come back while this is wet still and add some more detail with your pencil if you want. Some darker lines maybe. Man, I love the sketch lines. I'm serious. <laughs> it's kind of I, fun. I don't know why. You can kind of add more detail to your tree if you want. I'm going to just leave mine kind of loose. I'm liking it how it is. But I think I want that branch to be a little darker there. There we go. 
maybe just the tiniest bit of darker value right there. Wait, so where your the corner of your palette is mm -hmm. is a perfect spot to put your art. Right here? No, nope, down where it was. Where the corner of your palette is right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you keep moving your You're palette. You're confusing me. <laughs> Instead of your art. <laughs> That's funny. And am I in a bad spot? It's okay. No, you're good. You're good. I I could keep fiddling with this, but I think I really like how it is. I'm going to stop. Sometimes making art, good art, is the only one to stop. I agree. <laughs> there we go. Can you see it now? Uh, Do you want it in the side camera? Yeah, it looks great. Up? No, you're, it looks fine. It looks fine. Oh, I right love there. how this so came nice. out. Oh, thank you so much for painting this with us. And if, um, so you can totally paint this tree or if you got a different idea and you want to paint something else for Kathy's family, the sky's the limit. Like really, whatever you want to do. We love seeing it. Or and the trees. There's a lot of trees. Yeah. Try it. Trees the limit. <laughs> sky's the no, limit. I don't want to limit them to trees though. Oh, just trees. <laughs> Like you can do whatever you want. <laughs> um, and we love seeing what you make. So if you want to share it with us, you can share it on our, in our Facebook group where we have this cool community of people um, doing art journaling together. You can do it there. It's let's make art journals, or you can use the hashtag on Instagram and we can find what you made there. It's just so fun to share and inspire each other. So thank you so much for painting, them with, blah, 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 painting this with us. <laughs> um, that's all we got for today. We'll see you next time.